Three, two, one. As we start the launch sequence, uh, the first thing you think about is, wow, this is a lot of acceleration. Of course, the views are what are spectacular when you see this magnificent expanse of Earth below you, stretching out for literally hundreds, if not thousands of miles in every direction. And of course, the sky above is, is very deep blue, if not black which makes you feel very, very far away. But when you look back down at the Earth, it's a very soothing, familiar, precious, multicolored view that you have. You can see the totality of places where human history has occurred. And all of that goes by you know, once every 90 minutes or so sensation of floating is likewise incredibly appealing. It's magical to feel that when you push yourself off of a wall or the ceiling or a floor, no matter how gently, you continue in that same direction, unimpeded by anything in this perfect observation of Newton's laws of motion. Even something like typing on a laptop keyboard because of the law of opposite and equal reaction you actually propel yourself away from the keyboard ever so slowly. Coming down is not surprisingly the opposite sensation of going up. If you're slowing down from Mach 25, uh, you get a certain amount of deceleration, which is not terribly comfortable after you've been in space for six or seven months. Then there are a series of events that happen when the uh, parachute deployment sequence begins, including the coming out of a pilot chute, usually followed by a drogue chute, usually followed by the main chute which are pretty big um, jolting, jarring events, particularly the last one. But I'll tell you, the um, last few hundred meters are pretty exciting because you know what's going to happen at the end of it, a pretty strong impact. But it's great to be back on Mother Earth.